Hey there guys, what is going on? Dman6996 here again with Farming Simulator 2013 Titanium Edition. Um, we're here, back again on Westbridge Hill. What? Alright, except. Alright, we're here on Westbridge Hills. Um, and we just got a mowing mission, so we will definitely take that. I have skipped ahead of here in a little bit, tried to get, you know, a quarter of the farming done the harvest done just so it doesn't um, seem repetitive well not about we quick mow this I'm not sure if I showed you guys in the last episode but I did get a new mower I do like this one a lot better it has a lot bigger working width than the previous um, one so let's go ahead and mow this so how you guys all been hope you guys enjoyed part one and two of the series um, if you guys have any, uh, ideas for me or what you guys would like me to do, go ahead and leave it in the comments either in those videos or in this video below, because I'm not sure if you guys like me driving first person or third person or if you guys like me to, I don't know, you guys got ideas for me to buy, stuff like that. I'll definitely be all ears. Worst I can say is no, so... But let's quick finish up this mowing diner. Um, I really am pushing to get the Case IH 7120, I believe, or 7130. I think it's a 7130. Anyway, it's the um, the lowest of the two co or Case IH harvesters. Um, I think all in all, with the cutting head, it should be around two hundred eighty thousand dollars. So definitely gonna be taking all the mowing missions that I can to be able to try and uh, get that so we're about done here should finish up after that there we go so that's a nice chunk of money there will put us over the two hundred thousand dollar mark and looks like we've got all of his green so we'll go and move off the land well while we're waiting let's go get a guy cultivating actually we might not we might want to wait a little bit to get him to cult cultivate because we don't want him running over our crop that hasn't yet to be harvested. So we'll just go back up here. So how did you guys Thanksgiving go? I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Well, it's about a week after Thanksgiving, but just figured I'd... I'd like to hear from you guys. I'd like to know what you guys have been doing. And we'll, we'll just quick go set up this over here. My Thanksgiving went pretty well. Um, my break went by really fast. And I was not ready for school the next week. But I will, what, what can you do? Just got to live with it, I guess. I'm just get him aimed right. Aim straight ahead. So that way when we harvest him, he's already at 82%. So let's go get his product. And we just missed him. Shoot. Oh well. What can you do? So yeah, guys, if you haven't seen um, any new videos on the channel, then I'm not sure why. Because I've put out tons of videos. Oh, you can actually get on top of the tractors. Oh, that's cool. Hi, buddy. Anyway, so yeah, um, I have put out quite a few videos. Um, I put out, if you're a World of Tanks fan, I put out a Tiger review. Not too long ago. Um, also a, uh, another Minecraft episode, uh, part 7 is out, and part 8 will be coming out too, or part 8 will be out. Alright guys, sorry about that, um, so yeah, I'm standing on top here. Alright, so yeah, Minecraft part 7 and part 8 will be out by the time this video gets put out. Um, a Tiger review, and, whoa, I didn't know you could do this, can I jump with the grain? What the heck? I'm standing on no, oh, it's like a box, I see. It's just how it's Whoa, that's cool. Alright, that's just how it's animated, so not a big deal. Anyway. 
So yeah, I think there should be a couple more videos up, but I can't remember at this time. <laughs> um, hopefully a Team Fortress 2 live commentary should be, be put out in at least part one of one. Whoa, Nelly there. Careful there, Tiger. Alright. So yeah, lots of new videos have been coming out lately. Um, I've been trying to push videos out as much as I can, get as much content out there for you guys as possible. That sucks out the JPEG image. That'd be cool. Or some type of image. I don't know if it's JPEG. But, um. What you gonna do? Oh, you do that. Okay. You're not dumb. Alright, so we got $204,000. Let's check and. Well, let's just quick take a look at that. Um, Case IH 7130. This looks like a really nice one. Um, it's the new Axial Flow 7130 combined. Combine is built to meet the demands of today's mid-size arable operations, which is like farmable, from professional farms to progressive estates. We are probably a progressive estate at the moment, but we will definitely be going up to the professional farms. Um. So that looks like the one we will be buying. This one I think I purchased, this was my first one I ever purchased on uh, my own. Before I started doing a YouTube recording. That was the first one. I did get into potato and beet harvesting, so we'll probably be doing that this time too. Hmm. Um, we'll definitely be buying one of these Ursus round balers. I bet that's about ready. Yep, there he is. I'm not even sure. I don't think that was a uh, mowing mission. If it was, oops. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we're definitely gonna be doing round baling. Let's get away from the noise. Um. So let's see. Maybe this bale transporter. Huh. That looks like that's going to be glitchy as hell. So. Maybe that one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that one. Um, I don't know. But we'll definitely be buying a round baler. And I still don't know what this thing does. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Is this its oh this is its own trailer, I see. So never mind, maybe we won't be buying that. That's cool. Alright. So after we get the new uh combine we'll probably be going into uh, bailing. Right now there's no point. Because we need to save money. How much is that altogether? We haven't figured out how much it costs with the head for the 7130 alright so this is 235,000 and then with this one add another 50 so it's around 285 $286,000 will be the total cost so we got about excuse me oh man alright so we got about a lot more money to go Dang it. Come on. Mowing missions. Mowing missions. We need mowing missions. Turbo. How far are you? Sorry. Alright, let's go get you at the end. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Yeah, I think we're good on tractors for now, too. I don't think we're going to need any new tractors for now. 
Oops, sorry. Um, with these two viewers that they give us at the start, I think that'll be enough for a while. I love the gold international, so I probably won't be selling that either. Because that thing doesn't do wheelies, but the Kramer that I got, that thing does wheelies like none other when you hook the mower up to it. Because I was thinking about doing that since it has more power, but that was bad. That was a bad choice. Alright, we got a little ways going. We can start this cultivator. Alright, the worker. And we actually don't have a cedar, do we? Shit. We don't have a cedar. I could buy this old cheapo back. Huh. So we could buy this and sell the cultivator. Or we could save money and buy this thing. How about we just save some money? We're gonna lose. We're under the 200,000. But hopefully, if we get another mowing mission, that'll pay for itself. So let's hook a Kramer up to this Amazon. There we go, perfect. And it's right there, too. Alright, he should be good for a while. So let's hop in the international. Get some mowing done. Alright, so that, that was perfect timing. Um, Looks like this thing, the, our cedar will, will be already paid for itself and a little bit more. So that's good. Um, that cedar will last us maybe hopefully a little while until we need a bigger cedar. But for right now it should do just fine. It would be nice to have a bigger one, but we don't have money for that since we're trying to save up. There are a lot of cool things we could buy, but we need to save our money for that new combine. So and anything else can wait really, unless it's a complete necessity. See if we can quick finish up this a little bit here. Alright, so we should be done here any second. Or a couple of seconds. There we go. So yeah, we already have more money than what we had to, or than what we had before. So let's get in the old Kramer and hook up to this beast. Oh, jeez Louise. I guess we'll drive it with it on the ground. Does the worker have to... Oh, great. I think the worker has to. Why you do this to me, Kramer? Oop. These. This thing can't cultivate either, I bet. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we can drive straight. Oh my goodness, we can't even do wheelies and haul it. Oh my goodness. This Kramer sucks. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? Yes, I'm doing this right now. Yes, I am. And we're making a hundred bucks. We now own two internationals. Woohoo! That is what I'm talking about. Shit, we better get him. That's amazing. I love it. I love how we own two internationals now like old Kramer just couldn't cut it I mean it was doing wheelies and out while seating hey dude you wanna go let's go harvest some canola come on bro 
Why are you moving? Why am I not moving with you? No, no. Oh my goodness. So, uh, this is what the inside of a combine looks like. Um, as you can see, we are just bringing in the product, or the canola right now. We got our head doing a lot of work. Um, we see here our worker relaxing too much. Alright, that's, that's enough of that. We don't need any more of that. Enough being losers. Let's go. Let's probably stop driving on the crop as well. It's probably not. Probably not good for it. Where's our international? Here she is. We now have two of these beasts. And we made a hundred bucks. I love it. I love how this somehow has more front weight than a, that Kramer. I don't understand that one at all. Alright, let's just quick back up to it. And let's go. Now what do we want to plant? Barley? I love it. We're not doing a wheelie. Are we doing a mini wheelie? I think we're doing a mini wheelie. We are doing a mini wheelie. That's doesn't matter. Ooh, oh, we're doing we're doing a mini wheelie. Yeah, buddy. I love it. I love it. Baby, you're buzzkill. Alright, let's get... No. Solid work. Nice. Alright. Our harvester is going to be about ready. Alright, how many of you guys went Black Friday shopping? I did not go Black Friday shopping. I bought all of my stuff on Thursday. And um, if you guys watched part 2, you would know that I did purchase a new graphics card and a new mouse. So I think that's going to be awesome for the channel. Um, it's going to be nice to bring you different um, games that I couldn't before. Like Arma or Max Payne 3 or... Battlefield 4 at least. So I can probably give you a full let's play of the Battlefield 4 campaign. Which is going to be really nice. I am looking forward to that. Hopefully we can try and do it with This Is Life. I'm not sure if there's a co-op or not. But we're going to have to definitely look into that. And we'll just park it down right here. Alright guys, so I've shown you kind of what the base of what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to just pause the video right here because I'm sure this is kind of getting a little repetitive. And uh, we'll continue this video once we have this whole field combined. So I'll see you guys all in a bit. Alright guys, we are back. And right now we are pushing that $243,000 mark. Now that is great news. Um, actually I've gotten three mowing missions straight in a row. All at the drive-in. I mean, like, really, what is the chances of that happening? So we're at 243,000. We'll get about 20 grand for our, for our uh, harvester that we have right now, plus the um, the head for it. And then after all of this canola that we hopefully get, or, yeah, hopefully that we get, we can hopefully sell for 20 grand as well. Hopefully a little bit more. And we should be able to get the new Case IH-7130 Axial Flow Combine. Um, that'd be awesome to already get it in the third part into the series. Um, because I'm getting sick of this freaking far that can't combine for shit. So yeah, this will be great. This will be awesome. This will be what we really need to be able to become a 
top notch farm. Now we have to keep buying fields and stuff, but right now we're making our way. We are on track to do really well. And he's not going to make this in one, so. Yeah. Yeah, and he can't make it in one either, so. Alright, not his fault. I did think we might. Uh, I think we should be good. Just wait. Sitting here waiting for him. So let's. Now that we've got 243 grand, how about we just buy the combine right now? That is right, people. We just bought the Case IH Axial Flow 7130 Combine. It is built to meet the demands of today's mid sized arable operations from professional farms to progressive estates. This, people, is the new combine that we own. Holy shit! That sounds awesome. Alright, how about we take a look at it? So the front, we've got these headlights, this nice I case IH symbol in the front. I do like how you got the two seats. One for the driver and one for the passenger. Usually it's for the either the grandpa and the grandchild or the dad and the kid or whatever. It's usually what you see, but got these nice um what you call them? Blinkers that stick out. I don't know what you would call them. And in the back, let's see if we can get up here. She actually can. Sweet. Um here we got the nice diesel engine. Here we've got the auger. Ooh, this is gonna really, really help. Alright, um, how is our Alright, he's doing great. Alright, so now we're gonna quick fold this up. Let's actually just if we reset it, we're not gonna gain much. Actually, yeah, we will. So we'll just reset that and we'll reset the combine. Whoa, Nelly. Uh oh, I wonder if I'm not. Okay, we're good. We are fantastic. Now I have to hook up on the other side, Smarty Pants. See, so yeah, guys, that's really awesome. We now have the combine. Now we just need to get a good price for our canola and our harvester, and we'll be on our way to be making a butt ton of money. Be able to afford our new combine head that we need. So, I'm going to quick drive over here. I'm going to quick do this mowing mission. And uh, when I get back to you, we'll be driving the new combine with the new combine ahead. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a bit. Well, hey there, guys. Wait. Did you hear something? I think I heard. The Beast! The Case IH. 7130 Axial Flow Combine. This beast is a beast. This thing has a 10.7 meter um, head. It is like an absolute luxury package inside. I mean, red leather in a combine. That's crazy. This thing is loaded. Absolutely loaded. This thing is beautiful on the inside and out. There's not much more to say. It is amazing. I can't wait to do an episode of us using this bad boy to harvest our crop right out there, which is... Yeah, I see that our guy is still seeding. Must have had, had the time going, or the advanced time going when I was seeding. So, it was a little bit of oopsie. But we have 60 grand. We've sold all, all of the canola, I think, that we have. Now we actually have some canola left. But anyway, we've sold most of our canola. We've sold our harvester. Or our old far harvester. We now own this beast. And I'm ready to harvest. But that's going to have to wait till next episode, guys. But I do want to quick show you something really, really cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It opens up its hopper. I mean, that's awesome. 
Now there's a stepping ladder in there, so I'm not sure why you'd need a stepping ladder, but, you know, if it jams or clogs or something, there you go. But all in all, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any feedback um, on what you guys would like me to get, or if you guys liked or disliked the video, go ahead and leave, leave that in the comments below. Also, again, if you did like the video, go ahead and give this a like. If you dislike this video, go, go ahead and give us a dislike. But all in all, guys, just want to again thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.